Every religion, every society and every community has its own belief. Just as various incarnations and miraculous figures are mentioned in Hinduism. Similarly, other religions also have their own divine or supernatural powers. They are completely different from each other in name and form, but one thing is common in all and that is miraculous power. Greek mythological creatures. Most of the people are aware of the characters associated with almost all the major religions of India. But today, we'll tell you about some such amazing creatures recorded in Greek mythological history about which very few people know. Horse of divine power. Pegasus is the most prominent character in Greek mythological history. The bright colored horse like milk is equipped with divine powers. It was the horse of the Greek good Poseidon. Pegasus was born when Perseus killed his mother. Star, the Greek hero Bellophrain took Pegasus under his control and with his help ended the demon Chimeron. However, Belophorin had fallen from the horse before reaching Mount Olympus. The great god Zeus made Pegasus a consolation. People of Greece known this consolation by the name of Pegasus, dog of many faces. Cerberus, a dog with many faces, lion paws and snake tail guards hate. According to Greek mythology, Cerberus prevents the dead from coming out of the underworld and living from entering the underworld. Dead souls. Cerberus is the son of Typhon, a half woman and a half snake body, female Ectina and giant body demon that even the Greek god themselves feared. It is said that every head of Cerberus make food only on the flesh of living people. So, he allows only the souls of dead humans to roam in the underworld. Chimera This Greek monster was a combination of three animals. It had three faces, a lion, a snake and a goat. This thing can be understood in such a way that it is such a lion who also has the head of goat and a snake. It is blood related to Cerberus itself, Minetelli. This demon with the face of a bull and body of a man was half animal and a half human. It ended at the hand of Theseus Hydra. It was a snake-like monster living in a water which also had the ability to crawl. It had many heads. As soon as someone cut off one of its head, instead of that one head, two more heads came out. The Hydra was killed by a Greek god named Heracles, guarding the underworld. Hydra lived inside a lake called Lerna. Path to Hades used to pass through this lake. Hydra was a gatekeeper of the gate, which was the way to Hades. Hydra was also the child of Typhon and Medusa. It is the name of a demonic. It was very attractive and beautiful in appearance. But instead of hair on its head, snakes hang. It is said that whoever looked into its eyes, it turned into stone. Head of Medusa. Perseus killed Medusa and used her head as weapon. After that, his head was given to goddess Athena.